Ja tak nie mówię. If you got sad contenders, you don't need to go and get no operation. You don't need to get no surgery. You just need to get a nigga with long bones so he can get that motherfucker from the back there and hit the ground. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta make better decisions. Go out there, fulfill your dreams. Look, I'm not no one to tell somebody they can't do something that they've never tried before. Um, there's no, there's no blueprint on how to do stand-up comedy. So I, I, I respect the, the courage of Ti for trying to do something different. Cause you can't Google how to do stand-up. You can't go to school for this. You take a chance to do that. Um, it's like when I did YouTube, I did. There's no. Just tutorials, but you gotta just go out there and do it yourself. Um, and T.I. was at the Laugh Factory this week. He was on 5150 with Corey Holcomb. Um, and now he's doing stand-up. I was sitting there like, what? Cameron posted him at the show watching it. And I was like, hold up, stand-up, T.I.? I was like, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got a couple of clips on YouTube. Um, you know, I'm not surprised because he hangs out with K-Dub, the Grand Hustle comic. That's just one of his homeboys. He's a comedian. Um, he's been hanging out with Lil Duval since you go all the way back to the trap music era. You know, that 24s video. You know what I mean? So he's always been around Southern comedians. So maybe his comedian friends convinced him, hey, Tip, you got a sense of humor. You a funny dude. Go out there and try it. Now, uh, <laughs> the awkward thing about this is let's just get to it. You know what I mean? Not too long ago, T.I. had sexual assault charges. All these girls was coming out left field. Oh, he did this, he did that. Him and Tiny, they freaks. They've made us take hard drugs. We had to get naked at the door. And now you telling jokes, you know, not even a whole a year after these charges just got dropped. These charges just got dropped back in November. And you out here telling jokes. <laughs> so I'm like, that's like... He didn't do any, these charges were dropped. He didn't do any jail time, unlike Bill Cosby. But hell, Bill Cosby's been quiet as a mouse since he came home. And granted, he's 88 years old or whatever. And other than this documentary he's got, Bill's been pretty quiet. Meanwhile, T.I. <laughs> got all of this going on. They canceled the show. You know, girls are coming at you left and right. You beefing with politicians. And now you getting up here telling jokes. It's like, <laughs> it's like the audacity. Yo, won't you think you need to let this cool off a little bit before you get on stage? That's just my two cents. Uh, but he's out there. He's out there, and, and you know, he's, I don't know how much, uh, how much of a routine because you know some com comedians have their set routine and they'll tour with the same jokes for like two years. I've seen comics, and I could tell you what their jokes were before they got on stage because I seen them perform them same jokes like six months ago. Uh, so it's a whole different game. It's not like the rap game. It's completely different. But, you know, rap game-wise, I think he's at the tail light of his career. That's probably why he wants to do verses so bad, because he wants to get his flowers while he's still here. Uh, but his hip-hop career is pretty much over. I mean, he dropped that Libra album last year, and it didn't do anything. It, didn't, it really didn't do well at all. A lot of people didn't even know he had an album. Um, then he had the Dom Trap. That was the album he put out with uh, him in, in the office. Like, the promo was him in, in the president's office. You know, the whole angle, you know, him on his protest and shit. That didn't do well either. So, I think he's seeing the writing on the wall. Like, hey, you know, even though the South has the game in the chokehold, the people ain't really looking, checking for me no more like they used to. And it might be time to move on and do something different. You know, the TV show got canceled also. So now it's like, OK, T.I., let's let's see what you got. Let's see if you could do something different to revive, you know, make yourself relevant in an era where it's all about see me, see me, see me. So if this is what he wants to do. He's got my, you know, I, I don't have to hate on him or knock him because other comedians are going to do that. You already got comics like, man, who this this guy going to come in here and he going to get all the money and he going to sell out all the show. Yeah, because he's T.I. You know, no com no comedy club is going to turn him down. They're going to put his name on every every banner and people going to go just to see T.I. You know, Corey was like, yeah, man, I want you to come to our show so we can sell some tickets. Yeah, he was dead serious. You know, people are going to pay to go see this. So 
I know it's not as much money. He ain't doing it for the money. You know, he definitely ain't doing it for the money. He's just trying to do something different to keep himself relevant. You know, the political thing didn't work. Reality TV show that 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 bombed. I mean, hell, if you want to get into even Pacifics personally, he's a fucking he's a grandfather now. His, his stepdaughter just had a baby. So he's in a different time in his life where he's got to figure out some different things and move on. So, you know, because that last album that there was nobody was checking for that. Libra is us is, you know, <laughs> like we're checking for that. So maybe they'll check for this stand up. He doing good, good, good riddance for him. You know, because I was going to talk about Snoop because everyone was like, oh, man, Snoop bought Death Row as if Death Row ain't been out of business for 20 years. And then as soon as Snoop buys Death Row, some girl comes out of nowhere and says that him and Bishop Don Juan har harassed her. She's a backup dancer. And this is right before Snoop's supposed to perform at the Super Bowl. What 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 great timing that is. Yeah. But yeah, you know, T.I., despite having these charges recently dropped, he's out here telling jokes now. So. Apparently, and like you say, when it's when it's black women that are the victims, you can get away with shit like this. And meanwhile, Bill Cosby, all these white women said he did this and that. Bill Cosby been home and he, you ain't heard nothing. Because right now, you got to let Tom wound hills. Maybe some people will forgive and forget. Then you come out and get on there and tell your jokes. But right now, ain't nobody bringing it up. So T.I. is rocking. Uh, good looking out for him. Let me know what y'all think about T.I. doing stand up.